Welcome to practice. Um, our flow today involves our eagle arms, which is this full double wrap that brings your palms together. If this doesn't work for your body or you want just a different sensation, you could always take the backs of your hands together, you could bring your forearms together, you could work with hands at heart or any other arm variation that we take on our yoga mat. Um, that offering is just a suggestion, just one experience, one sensation within your body but allow yourself to really customize your practice and every shape, every moment to exactly what you need today. Now we'll begin on the back body when you're ready. So go ahead and just find the earth. Um, maybe placing your hands palms face down for grounding, palms face up for receptivity, for openness, for uplifting energy, or palms on your body to connect you to your breath, yeah? So you find that comfortable landing spot. Start the process of breathing in a little bit more fully. And then breathing out a little bit more completely. And so with each cycle of breath, you let yourself transition into this moment. Into the here and now. A little bit more with every inhale and every exhale. As you deepen your breath, as you give yourself permission to arrive into the present moment, And you allow everything beyond your inhale, beyond your exhale, beyond the thoughts, feelings, and sensations of right here, right now, begin to fade away. Be starting to view your practice through the lens of curiosity. Noticing how one shift or one shape or one sensation feels both in your physical body, but then also maybe creates a ripple effect within your heart and mind, within your breath, within the interconnectedness of yourself as a whole. Feeling your body, your breath, your heart, your mind working as a system. Let's take one more moment to breathe here, and to be right here, right now. Just in stillness, just in silence, you and your breath. And when you're ready, go ahead and find a nice deep breath in through your nose, all the way to the tops of your lungs. And open mouth, exhale to release. And two more just like that, deep breath in through your nose. And open mouth, exhale to let go. One more here, really expansive breath in. And open up, exhale, release. And seal your lips, start to breathe in and out of your nose. Be cultivating your ujjayi pranayama. And you're ready to bring movement and spread your fingers, spread your toes. Maybe circle with your ankles and your wrists. With the breath in, reach your hands up and overhead. Find a full body stretch. And your exhale, start to bring your knees into your chest. Take a moment to draw in close to your center, to your heart space. And then breathe into the back of your body, down towards the ground. Feel your breath reach towards the earth, and then with an exhale at both knees, tip over to the left, gentle twist. 
the right shoulder heavy on the earth, offer a deeper breath to your right side body. And move towards a deeper twist on your breath out. One more here in deep breath in through your nose. And complete exhale out of your nose. And continue to roll to your left side into fetal pose. Rest your left ear into your left bicep. Maybe reach down, right hand to the top of your right foot, finding this modified bow shape. Let your right shoulder fall open. Let your belly to your spine. And then tailbone reaches forward as your right knee reaches towards the wall behind you. Take a nice deep breath in. Good. On your exhale, release your right leg long. Roll onto your back body and bring your left knee to your left shoulder when you're moving pose. As you draw your left thigh in close, take a deeper breath in. Exhale, supine twist, left leg tips over your body to the right. An option to stay here. Option to bend your right heel towards your seat. Maybe catch that with your left hand. Let your right knee pull towards the midline of your mat. Draw your belly to your spine again. And take one big breath in here. And on your exhale out. Go ahead and release your left hand from your right foot. You're going to bend your right knee to stack below your left. So you're in a gentle twist. Maybe let your left shoulder fall a little bit more open. Take one big breath in. A slow exhale out. Roll to your right side into fetal pose. And either stay here or reach your left hand for the top of your left foot. Left knee is in line with your hip. Tailbone reaches away for the added resistance. Navel pulls in to support your lumbar spine. And try to open across your collarbone, across your left shoulder. Head rest heavy into your right bicep and then breathe into your left side body, to your left quad, across your entire left side. With your exhale, release your left leg long. As you roll onto your back body, bring your right knee to your right shoulder. Gather a deep breath in. Keep the length in your spine, supine twist, right leg tips across you on your breath out. You can either your traditional supine twist or bend your left heel to your seat. Reach for your left foot with your right hand. And let your right shoulder drop towards the earth. And breathe into your left side. A nice, generous inhale. A slow motion. You're going to release on your exhale. And take your time to unwind from your shape. As you roll into your back body, bring both knees into your chest. And then keeping your knees bent, place your feet to the earth. Lengthen your right leg up to the sky. Reach behind your right leg. Just take a moment in a hamstring stretch. Reach energy up through your right heel. Pull your right toes towards your face so your right calf receives a stretch. Now anchor down through your left foot. Press up through your right heel. And then go ahead and eagle wrap your left arm underneath your right. Shoulders out of ears, then inhale, start to lower your right leg down to a hover. Reach your fingertips up and overhead. On your exhale, press to your left foot, lift your right leg, and then lift your shoulder blades, reach your fingertips towards your toes. Then inhale from your core, lower, open. On your exhale, lift and contract, then elbows towards your right thigh. One more like this, inhale to open. Exhale, right leg lifts, fingertips reach. Holding at the top, send your left leg forward to a hover. Your low back is anchored on an inhale, lower your right heel to top your left toes. Keep your navel pulling in and down. Exhale, your right leg up to the sky. And two more here, lift your shoulders. Inhale, right leg lowers. Exhale, right leg lifts. And one more time, inhale, right leg lowers. 
Exhale, right leg lifts. Unwinding your arms to go full body stretch, reach your hands overhead, lower your right foot to meet your left. Big breath in. Exhale, circle, sweep knees to chest, head and shoulders, relax. Lengthen through the nape of your neck, take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Good, knees bent, land your feet to the earth. Extend your left leg tall to the sky, reach behind your left leg. Start to open up through your left side. So you stretch open through your back body, try to breathe towards the earth again. Using more and more of your lung capacity with each cycle of breath. So get rooted through your right foot and reach through your left heel. Start to eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left. You squeeze your forearms together so there's energy moving towards the midline of your body. And you navel to spine, low back anchored on the earth. Inhale to lower your left leg, reach your fingertips overhead a little bit. Exhale, press through your right foot as leverage to lift your shoulder blades and lift your left leg. Then inhale, open up. Right, from your core, exhale, push and lift. Right, one more here, breath in, lower, open. Exhale, press, lift. See how high you can get your shoulder blades. Send your right leg out. Push energy through your right heel. Inhale, left leg's gonna lower. Shoulder blades stay lifted. Exhale, left leg to the sky. Squeeze your forearms together. Two more here. Inhale to lower. Your exhale is to lift. One more time. Big breath in to lower. Exhale, left leg lifts. Unwind your arms, reach your hands overhead, tuck through your chin. Lower your left leg to meet your right to go, big breath in. Exhale, release, relax, knees to chest, head and shoulders to the earth. Big breath to your back body. And open mouth, exhale, release. Last shape before we lift is a bridge pose. Bring your feet to the earth, pushing the backs of your arms. As you lift your pelvis, really focus on the openness of your heart. Maybe interlace your hands behind your back here, tucking your shoulders underneath your heart space. Root through your feet, lift through your pelvis, and find your ujjayi breath again. Last breath in, option to lift to your tippy toes. Release your bind if you have that. Then exhale, lower your pelvis to the earth. Let your heels in when your hips land, and just take a moment to feel sensation wash across your body. Start to make your way to a tabletop pose next. Knees to chest, either up forward and back, or press to your left or right to climb your way up. With your shoulders above your wrists, wrist creases parallel to the top of your mat, hips above your knees, start to inhale to your cow shape. So lift your sternum, rise through your tail, and gently drive the heels of your hands towards your knees. And listen for your exhale to curl your spine to your cat pose, tuck your tail, round the back of your heart up high, feel your shoulder blades spread way apart. And come through a long and neutral spine. Hips stay lifted, walk your hands forward and then melt your heart to the earth. And breathe into that space, the back of your heart between your shoulder blades. And as you exhale, melt towards your mat. From here, start to slither forward. And leading with your heart, allow your hips to land. Find your low cobra. Anchor through your toenails. As your sternum pulls through, drag your hands back. Elbows close to your side bodies. Big breath in. And exhale to lower down. And tent your fingertips out to the sides. Elbows to the sky. With an inhale, gently press into your hands. Lift your heart. Exhale, dip your left shoulder towards the midline of your mat. And gaze to the right. Then inhale up through your center. 
and exhale, second side, right shoulder to center, look to the left. And inhale again, lifts you through the midline. On your exhale, lower down. Hands by your lower ribs, tuck your toes underneath. Knees up or down, press the earth away, high plank, push into your mat. You're gonna take a big breath in. Navel to spine, exhale strong. One more inhale, press the back of your skull gently to the sky, push more firmly through your hands. And then exhale, tabletop pose, land your knees. As you land your knees, start to send your right leg up and back into a one-legged tabletop. Push energy out through your right heel, hug your inner right thigh to the midline, and then draw your belly to your spine. Press super strong through your right hand. Reach your left hand forward. Breathe from fingertips to heel. On your exhale, bend your right heel towards your seat. Think like hamstring curl. An option to stay here, start to reach your left hand towards the back of your mat, opening your heart. Maybe catch your right foot. You have your foot kick up to the sky. Square your heart towards the top of your mat. Let your right hamstring light up as you kick up towards the ceiling. Then slow motion release back to your spinal balance. Okay. Lower your left hand below your left shoulder. Left toes are tucked. Hover your left knee just above the earth. Strong through your center. Take a big breath in. And exhale, three-legged dog. Push your right leg to the sky. Take an inhale. Lift up through the back of your right leg. Square through your hips. Exhale, right foot to the top of your mat, step forward. Dip your left knee to a hover, cow lunge, reach your heart forward and through. And exhale towards a cow lunge, maybe flex your right toes to your face. That stretch reaches further down your calf. Bend into your right knee. Lean your right to right foot, gentle standing split, left leg to the sky with an inhale. Step your left foot to the outside of your right, cross-legged, forward fold with exhale. Soften your knees. Your pinky toes do not need to match up. Stab your heart over your thighs. Let the weight of your head be happy here. Lean a little bit forward and back. And then inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, traditional forward fold. Unwind your legs and dive across your thighs. And inhale to lift up all the way, or Bahastasana, both hands reach. Exhale, goddess, your arms soften your knees, let your elbows split wide. Tips of your elbows press forward to open your chest. And then inhale your hands to the ceiling. Fold on your out breath. Lift up halfway as you breathe in. High plank with an exhale, plant your hands, take a mindful step back. And with an inhale, shift forward. Knees up or down, lower, halfway or all the way with exhale. Open your heart mindfully, up dog or cobra breath in, strong through thighs in the center. Down dog is your exhale, hips to the sky, breath out. And then take an inhale through your nose. And open mouth, exhale out. Okay, from your downward facing dog, lift your heels up high with your breath in. On your exhale, roll forward to a high plank breath out. Press the earth away strong on your front body on your inhale. Tabletop pose, knees release on your exhale. Nice and firm with your hands, lift your left leg one leg at tabletop. Feel your belly pull in to challenge your left seat. Anchor through your left hand and reach your right hand forward. For the extension with an inhale. Bend your left heel towards your booty on an exhale for that hamstring curl. Seat engagement on your left side. Stay or stretch to reach your right hand back. Option to catch your foot. If you have that connection, kick up to the sky. Lift your sternum up as well. Try to connect to the back of your left leg strength. So think left hamstring and glute are still strong. Then use that to control your release as you return to your spinal balance. Reactivate through your belly if you've lost it. Anchor down through your right hand too. Right toes are tucked. 
Hover your right knee and edge your two above the ears. Try to keep your shoulders above your wrists, core active and engaged, left hamstring glute active, and then push into your three-legged dog. Long through right and left side bodies, take a big breath in. Left foot to the top of your mat, breath out. Inhale to your cow lunge. Hover your right knee above the earth, heart reaches forward. Exhale to your cat lunge, perhaps your left toes pull to your face. Hug your left hip crease way back, heart reaches through. When you bend into your left knee this time, it's a gentle standing split. Pull your right toes to the sky with an inhale, your head fall heavy. And then cross legged forward, fold, right leg goes behind your left, soften through your knees and dive down with that exhale. Just kind of explore the space here, shifting your weight across your feet, both right and left, and seeing how that works, the sensation up through your legs. And when you're ready, inhale, pull your heart through, half lift. Exhale, traditional forward fold, unwind your legs and dive down. Breath in lifts you up halfway, or rather all the way. On your breath out, goddess, your arms, elbows go wide. This time, let your hands fall to interlace behind your back. Lift through your chest, lengthen through your arms, big breath in. Maybe keep the bind as you soften your knees and hinge forward, fold, breath out. Option to keep the bind, soften your knees, inhale, lift halfway again. And then exhale to your high plank pose, release your hands to the earth. Step your feet back and feel your breath. Good, on your breath in, shift forward. Knees up or down to slower, halfway elbows stay close. And then with intention, press back up. Gripping through your fingers, lower halfway. And press back up, fill your triceps. One more time, lower halfway. Open your heart up, dog, cobra breath in. And a down dog on your exhale, breath out. And inhale through your nose. And then open up, exhale, release. Good, strong and firm through your hands. Inhale your heels high. With an exhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Inhale at the top. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Push through your hands. Step your right foot through, maybe give it a boost. Dip your left knee with an inhale. Standing splits on your exhale, press through right foot, feel your left leg float to the sky. Relax your head, breathe in deep. Shiva squat, bend and tap, left knee towards your right calf. Lift through your gaze, lift through your heart. Push through your right heel to re-extend standing splits. Right, same thing, Shiva squat, bend and tap. Standing splits, push to extend. And one more time here, bend and tap. Good, push and extend. Step your left toes to the back of your mat, low lunge. Twist your right hand to the sky for an inhale. Then turn all ten toes to your left on your exhale, and then bend into your left knee, side lunge. Keep your hands on the earth for this round. Press your sits bones back and wide. Push your feet down and away from one another. Inhale your heart forward, proud through your heart space. Exhale to the back of your mat, all ten toes turn, low lunge. Shift your weight to your left foot. Push down through your feet. Start to bring your right knee into your heart and rise all the way up, one legged to Dasana. Take an inhale here. Then exhale, goddess, your arms. And inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Hamstring curl your right heel towards your seat. Pull your belly in. Take another breath in. Airplane pose will be micro bend your left knee as you fly into your extension. And your thumbs wide to open your collarbones across your heart. Take a breath in. And crescent lunge, right toes release as you breathe up. Inhale your hands to the sky. 
Exhale, airplane arms, heart links forward, fingertips reach back. You go wrap your right arm underneath your left. With an in-breath, lift your eagle arms to the sky. And exhale, dip your eagle arms towards the earth. Maybe your fingertips tap. Only go so low as feels healthy for your low back. And inhale to lift up. Exhale, unwind, crescent lunge. Take your hands down to the earth. Step your left foot back, high plank pose. On an inhale, shift forward. Knees up or down, just lower halfway. And then press back up. Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog breath in. And then bring your knee into your nose with an exhale out. Left foot steps to the top. Cow lunge, hover, and open your heart forward. Drink your breath in. Stand in splits, exhale, push the earth away, float your right toes to the sky. Use your in breath to create some buoyancy below your right leg. Exhale, Shiva squat. Right knee might move towards the outside of your left calf. Push through your left heel, lift your right toes. And right, two more here, try to get low to your seat. Feel the weight transfer to your left heel as your heart lifts, gaze lifts, and then push to extend. One more time here, bend to top. Your inhale powers your right toes to the sky. Exhale, step your right toes back and find a twist. So your right hand plants, lift your heart to the left. Okay, space around your neck, right shoulder and left shoulder out of your ears. Now turn all 10 toes to the right, bend your right knee, side lunge. Again, find an openness across your hip space. Everything widening and expanding out. Your center is still strong, which allows you that energy, the space, the foundation from which to expand. Turn all 10 toes to your right, low lunge to the top of your mat. So to shift your weight to your right foot, strong through your belly, you're gonna bring your left knee to your chest, rise all the way to stand, big breath in. Goddess arms at the top, exhale, elbows wide. And inhale, hands to the sky. Hamstring, curl your left heel towards your booty. You want kicking up and back, like you're trying to press back towards the wall behind you, then up to the sky. So you've got a little softness in your right knee and smooth your breath. Slowly fly to your airplane pose. And feel that string from your crown forward, all the way back to your left foot. Fingertips are wide and active to light up your triceps here. Then a soft descent into your crescent lunge. Your left toes land, inhale your heart and hands up high. Then exhale to your airplane arms. Left wraps underneath your right. So left arm underneath your right, eagle arms. Inhale, scoop your fingertips forward and up. Elbows reach away from your sternum. Exhale, dive your eagle arms towards the earth. Then push through your strong legs, support your spine with your core as you inhale to rise. Unwind your hands, crescent lunge. Then exhale your hands down to the earth. High plank your right foot steps back. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale over halfway. And then press back up. This time downward facing dog hips to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And then open up, exhale, release. Then inhale your heels high. Exhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Then untuck your toes, upward facing dog, breath in. And then high plank pose, press through your hands, tuck your toes, breath out. Right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, split your legs apart. One-legged plank stand, one long line as you shift forward, shoulders to stack. And inhale, three-legged dog, push through your right heel, fill your right glute. Exhale, knee to nose. Bend your right foot to the top. Standing splits, left leg to the sky, breath in. Shiva squat with an exhale. Push through your right foot, lift your heart, hug your left heel close. Then tighten your left fingertips to the side. 
Keep your right hip hugged to the midline and then twist your right hand towards the ceiling, maybe. Take a big breath in. Then on your exhale, step your left toes back. Turn all ten toes to the left until your left knee bends side lunge. Option to lift your arms and spread your wings. Take a breath in here. Low lunge to the back as you breathe out. Push to your left foot. Airplane pose, press to fly. Big breath in. Exhale, steady release. Soften through your left knee, bend your right knee to your belly and rise with control. Let it goddess, your arms hug your right heel towards your seat. Maybe a little softness to your left knee. You go wrap your right arm underneath your left. Elbows forward, fingertips top. Eagle arm airplane, send your fingertips forward, your right heel back. Big breath in. That breath is going to supply you the oxygen to land with lightness. So place your right toes to the earth, keep your eagle arms. Inhale your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, dip your fingertips towards the earth. As you breathe in, a crescent lunge rise up. Exhale, warrior two, spin open. Settle on your feet. Feel a long line of energy through your torso. Reverse your warrior breath in. And a side angle, breath out. And then find length through your left side. Send your tailbone to your right heel, reach your right hand overhead. One long line of energy. So you pull through your center front ribs and in as you lean back a little bit. Maybe your left hand finds the earth if you want more depth. Take one more breath in. And then bring your right hand down. So you frame your left foot and hook your back heel. From here, press the earth away. High plank pose. Your inhale to shift forward. Lower halfway on your exhale. And press back up. Same thing, lower halfway. And press back up. Last time, lower half foot. Open your heart up, dog, cobra breath in. Down dog, hips to the sky, breath out. Let inhale, find length. Exhale, settle. Breath in, lift your heels. Exhale, roll forward like a wave, high plank. And untuck your toes up dog with your in breath. High plank on your out breath. Left leg to the sky, three legged dog breath in. One legged plank, exhale, shift to stack, stay in one long leg. Then three legged dog with your inhale. Left knee to nose on exhale. Left foot lands to the top. Standing split, scoop your right toes to the ceiling. Shiva squat, bend, tap, and pause. Then length your spine, hug your right heel to your seat, maybe hands find your heart. To draw your navel in to lift your belly away from your left thigh. Then tuck your right fingertips towards the side. It always is a block as well here. Twist your left hand up to the ceiling. Let your tailbone reach back, hip creases pull back. Step your right toes back towards a twisted low lunge. Turn all ten toes to the right. Side lunge, your right knee bends, so we spread your wings wide. One breath in. To your right to the top of your mat, low lunge, breath out. Push through your right foot to fly, airplane pose. Give yourself a moment, find some stability. With Ujjayi Pranayam, bring your left leg into your belly and rise. Inhale the top, exhale, goddess arms, hug your left heel to your seat. Micro bend through your right knee. You go wrap your left arm underneath your right. Nice and spacious around your neck. Start to send your fingertips forward, your left leg back, you go armed airplane. Reach energy forward through your fingers, breath in. Then your left toes with lightness, breath out. Inhale, eagle arms to the sky. Lift your elbows away from your sternum. 
Exhale, dive your fingers towards the earth any amount. Crescent lunge, unwind your arms as you lift up. Warrior two, find that opening. Adjust your feet as much as you need. Find a freedom in your pelvis, so find a slight untuck of your tail, but still activates your navel to spine. And inhalation to reverse. Exhale, side angle. And rolling open. Maintain the length in your body and breath. Maybe your left hand reaches over as well. Lean back so your front ribs can find the containment at your core. Maybe right fingertips towards the earth. One more breath in. Reach further. Low lunge to the top. Frame your right foot. Unhook your back heel. High plank, step your right toes to meet your left. On an inhale, shift four. Exhale, lower halfway. Press back up. Knees up or down, lower halfway. Press back up. Last one, lower halfway. Lift your heart up, dog cobra. Down dog on an exhale. Child's pulls in your knees to the earth. Let your hips sink to your heels and breathe. Now to your third breath or so. Shift your weight to your heels and roll up your spine to have a seat. Take a moment, roll your shoulders open, feel your heart expand. Reach your left hand behind you to the earth as you tent your left fingertips. In breath, lift your heart, reach your right hand up and overhead, a little half camel flow. The exhale, sink and switch. Right fingertips behind you, breath in to lift and open. The exhale, settle down. Tabletop pulse. And rising to your fingertips, inhale to your cow. And exhale to your cat spine. Travel through neutral. Walk your hands forward. And again, melt your heart to the earth. One big breath in. On your exhale, slither forward, sphinx pose. This time your shoulders come above your elbows. Lower your hips to the earth. If you need to scooch and adjust your, um, your shape a little bit so that you can have that 90 degree bend, feel free to scooch your pelvis back or forward. Push down through your forearms. Draw your elbows to your hips, your heart through. Collarbones are wide. Feel that energy along the column of your spine. And stay here or tuck your toes underneath. Push down through your forearms slightly away and then pull your belly in. You can keep your knees on the earth or lift your knees into a full forearm plank. Check that your shoulders are above your elbows so there's that forward energy through your body. As your navel pulls to your spine, your heels reach back, your tailbone reaches back. Front and back body are strong. And breathe in your ujjayi breath in and out of your nose. And one more breath in. Exhale, release your hips. Untuck your toes back to sphinx or take seal. Push into your hands and lift your elbows. Pull your heart up to the sky. As you exhale, elbows go wide. Relax your forehead to the backs of your hands. Take a deeper breath to your belly. Open mouth, exhale, release. Reach your left hand in line with your left shoulder. Right, take a 90 degree bend if you don't have the space. Now find our wing pose. Right hand places below your right shoulder. Start to roll onto your left side body. Kickstand your right toes behind you. For whatever leg variation allows you stability here. Maybe scoot your hips more to the midline of your mat for a deeper stretch. And then breathe into that opening.
And when you unwind, take your time. No rush, go really slow. And then find yourself at center. And take second side. So right hand reaches out. Your left hand is your kickstand, your left leg is your kickstand. Maybe your pelvis switches more to midline so you can spin open to the sky. Let your head be heavy on the earth. And then breathe into that sensation. After we finish this last little like intermission bit, we're gonna move back towards our flow. Just take you one more final layer, building on what we've already been creating. Continue to listen to your body, to customize as you see fit. Most importantly, to stay curious. And you stay connected to your breath and that teacher within. And you unwind through center. So make sure you're shimmy back to the midline of your mat. Okay. Tops of your feet on the air. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling in downward facing dog, pike your pelvis to the sky. Take a deep inhalation together. And open up exhalation. And here we go, final flow. Inhale your heels, lift. Exhale, roll to your high plank pose. Feel like an ocean wave as you shift. Pause as you breathe it. And exhale, right leg splits up, three-legged dog. Inhale, one-legged plank. Keep your core in tight as you shift forward. You are one solid line. And back to your three-legged dog. Push the earth away. Same thing, shift forward, breath it. Three-legged dog, breath out. Last time here, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, right into the nose. Step your right foot to the top. Standing splits your left leg, finds the sky. Good. Shiva squat, bend to top. Hug your heels to your seat, lift through your heart, drop through your belly. Or drop through your booty and pull in through your belly, rather. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, step your left toes back. Turn all ten toes to the left, bending to your left knee, side lunge or skandhasana, so your right toes can go to the sky. Take an inhale, find extension through your spine. Exhale, low lunge to the back of your mat. All ten toes rotate to the left. Push through your left foot. Rise up one leg to Tadasana. Right knee comes all the way with you. Breath in. And on your exhale, goddess your arm and softness in your left knee. Hug your right heel to your seat. Right. Dancers pulse. Right hand to your right foot. Left hand can come to heart or reach up towards the sky. Draw into your midline. Maybe spread your right toes. Pull your belly in. Square your heart towards the top of your mat. Take this step by step. Begin to kick up and back. Feel the back of your right leg. So think about like in that tabletop shape in the beginning, right glute and hamstring strong. So your sternum lift up as you kick up and back. And then maybe use that to control your tip forward. So it's the leverage of your right side dropping you towards your dancer's pose. Take a big breath in. With control, airplane pose, right leg goes long, reach back. And eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left, perhaps. Softness to your left knee. Maybe tap your right knee towards your left calf, little Shiva squat. And then push through your legs. This time as you soften your left knee, bring your right knee with you and stand. Pause here, eagle wrap your right thigh on top of your left. Hug to center line, fingertips reach tall, tailbone towards the earth, take an in-breath. On your exhale, let me sweep your eagle, reach your elbows beyond your knees and down with your finger to sink to the earth. One legged Tadasana. Rise up slow, everything unwinds your breath in. Forward fold, right foot down, dive across your thighs, breath out. Inhale, lift halfway. 
you decide vinyasa or down dog with your exhale so step back or flow back it's entirely up to you just checking in in this moment of practice what feels best can you allow your breath your body to guide you there and prioritizing that deeper connection and what your practice represents beyond the shapes breath in exhale out here we go inhale your heels high exhale roll it forward high plank get strong with your breath in three-legged dog exhale left leg lifts nice and solid one-legged plank keep your upward energy through your body so pull your belly in keep your shoulders elevated as you shift to stop it's three-legged dog to your left seat lead the way two more inhale shift forward again your one strong elevated left right quadricep does engage as you push the right toes exhale back to your three-legged dog last time here inhale shift forward exhale left knee to nose shoulders stay above your wrist step your left foot to the top standing splits right toes to the sky Shiva squat, bend to top. The big hands find your heart, finding that balance challenge. Line up the inside, outside of your left leg, your left glute, your left calf. Step back with your right toes. Mindfully turn all ten toes to the right and bend them to your right knee. Maybe skandasana or back to your side lunge. And offer an in breath to your body. Exhale, low lunge to your right, all ten toes to rotate. Shift your weight to your right foot, left knee to chest, one legged to dasana, breath in. Exhale, micro bend through your right knee, goddess, your arm, left heel to hamstring curl. Cross your left foot for dancer's pose, right hand to heart to the sky. Pull your belly in and set yourself up here. And when you're ready to start to dive down, then lean with your left leg, so kicking up and back. Chest goes forward. Right hand can reach if that feels best. Find the engagement through the back of your left leg and hamstring. So left glute, left hamstring is lit up. Airplane pose release. You're gonna wrap your left arm underneath your right ankle arms. Bend through your right knee, the one Shiva squat, bend and tap here. Push through your right foot, extend, length into your limbs. Bring your left knee with you to rise, keeping your eagle arms if that's okay for your body. Stay here, eagle pose, Garudasana. Left thigh stacks on top of your right. And then breathe. Find the integrity of a tall spine. Most of your left hip has sunk, hips are square, take an in breath. Sleeping eagle, dive your elbows over your thighs. Take a moment here, inch by inch, to control your balance. Ekka Padatadasana, unwind and lift everything up with an inhale. Forward fold, left foot to the earth, release, let that go on your exhale. Breath in, lifts you halfway. Breath out, walk your feet wide, sink your hips down, the last in a squat. Take your left hand down, twist open with your right hand on an in-breath. Use your exhale, rinse a little bit deeper. And hands to heart center, breath in. Press through your heels, switch sides, right hand down. Left hand, high breath out. Press through your left hand as if there's a wall, there's a leverage to twist you open more. Notice how just that imaginary leverage gives you more rotation. Then hands come back to heart. Forward fold, turn your toes forward, lift your hips. Pinkies to opposite elbows, maybe sway a little side to side. Please see your hands, walk your feet together. Lift your tippy toes, bend your knees. Find a toe stand shape, so 
hug your heels towards one another, ankle joints come to kiss. Let your knees start to sink as you draw your hands to your heart, belly, to your spine. Focus your gaze through the energy of your feet, your toes holding you up, try to lift a little bit taller through your torso. If you want more challenge, close your eyes. And let your knees sink down. Use your hands to untuck your toes. Walk your knees a little bit wider, so usually about like mat's distance apart. You can adjust as we start to progress. Take your fingertips behind you, so wrist below your shoulders, fingertips face your seat. Pull your belly in and tuck your tailbone towards the top of your mat slightly. Now as you find that pelvic tilt, or pelvic tuck in this case, it's going to help you determine where your knees need to go. So let them go to like that place of the least resistance. Lift through your heart. You can stay here if you want to. You can lower down to your forearms nice and gentle. Same thing. Feel your tailbone reach forward, belly to spine. Lift through your heart. Feeling that openness across the fronts of your hips. Stay here if you want to lower all the way down. Just shimmy your entire back body to the earth. And adjusting as you need to. Your core is strong to support your lower back. And you press your shins into the earth really firmly. Try to tone your belly. Breathe into your front line. And you send another breath to three through your body. And start to check in energetically. As you deepen your breath, can you allow your energy to settle? Thinking about like the sand at the bottom of the ocean. After a wave washes through, settles back down. Right, and that same sense of serenity with your energy. The same energetic shift. So we can either go with the flow of the waves, allowing the waves to wash us up and swirl us. And then we can sink back into the earth with a sense of steadiness. We're all gonna meet on the back body, so when you're ready, you can lower down. If you're already on the earth, you can just kind of untuck your legs. Let your knees be bent for a moment. Just let your toes turn and knees knock to center. Hands will be to your belly. Breathe into your belly. Walk your feet out wider. Knees stay bent. Let your knees both knock over to the left. Engage your right hand back at the right diagonal and so your arm rest heavy to the earth. Option to stack your left ankle on your right knee. Offering a little bit more weight. You open to your right side. And stack if you have that cross and then switching your knees to center so that your knees slowly tip to the right. Maybe you switch out your arms, maybe your right ankle stacks on your left knee. Feel that reach on your left knee to your left fingertips as you breathe. center this next time. Find your way into a modified or a full happy baby. Just really allow the weight of gravity and the weight of your hands 
to create that openness through your hips. If you wanted to, you can extend one or both legs with a hair happy baby, really working to the inseams of your legs. With fullness to the back of your heart. Your next exhalation, bend your knees and place your feet to the earth. Soles of your feet come together to kiss, let your knees fall wide like a book, Supta Baddha Konasana. You might place one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. So you breathe deeply along that central channel of energy from your root, like the bowl of your pelvis up to your crown. In your out breath, fill your breath empty from crown all the way back down to the basin of your pelvis. And take two more breaths here. Stay here, start to reach down to the outsides of your thighs. Help your knees back to center. Maybe you draw your knees into your heart, your nose towards your knees. Breathe in. With your breath out, find your way to your final relaxation, your Shavasana, whatever shape feels best for you to rest in today. Feel the weight of your limbs drop into the earth. Any heaviness on your heart or mind, it's okay to have heaviness. And to feel those energies, to feel those emotions, those sensations. Can you just gently allow them to melt away for now? Just give yourself these final few minutes of your practice to feel light, to feel buoyant. And that lingering buzz of energy that you cultivated within your own body. A deeper connection to heart, to mind, to breath. Maybe that heightened curiosity. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, release. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. And may your practice serve as your teacher to lead you in living more authentically and loving more deeply each and every day. I thank you so much. Namaste.